Today I'm getting into the nitty gritty of this beautiful printer. It's a Canon MX395. So I thought why not make a video for you just as well. And in that way you will have some kind of instruction how to open this uh, printer for reparation. Canon and also other printers make uh, use of snap fits that hold the chassis, the plastic parts together and you really need to know uh, where to put the right pressure so you don't break them and the whole plastic parts uh, will uh, be easily dismantled. So yeah, enjoy the video, let me know if it was helpful at all and yeah, stick around! Before I start uh, working on a printer I usually put something underneath uh, that's soft so it doesn't uh, scratch the, the desk itself, although this desk is pretty much damaged. But if you want to save yours, uh, be uh, advised and uh, put some towel underneath, so if you twist and turn the printer it will not damage the surface. Unplug the USB cable and the power cable. So starting from the back it's uh, the most convenient way and the only actually way. So uh, we've got here one, two, three, four screws. I will use a uh, Phillips screwdriver for this. So let's get started. Check also the ports, here I have a uh, plug in that port, this is just a piece of plastic to protect the port from damage or that any dust or anything else will come in. So at the moment we loosened up four screws, one, two, three, four and we took out one plug. Perhaps you have also to double check it. Once we have done this. For the moment we are uh, down with the back, we move to the front. Here on the left side, front left side, we see a plastic cover. And yes, I'm using here a butter knife to remove it. It's a better tool than a screwdriver because it's wider and it's much thinner. And when I uh, will put pressure on this uh, plastic cover, I'm sure it will not chip away any plastic from it.
Now once we have unscrewed all the screws we can actually start to uh, remove uh, the side panels so uh, that one here on the left and that one on the right. Now both uh, side panels uh, are locked in with snap fits. Uh, those are quite tricky uh, to open or unlock without breaking them. Let's begin with this side, the left side. I took the camera off from the tripod so it will wobble a little bit more but this way you will see exactly what I'm trying to do here. We'll begin with the left side of the printer. What I will try to do is uh, to bend this part a little bit to outside. I put my finger here somewhere like so and we'll just bend it a little bit. And I will leave it like that. I hope you can see it uh, from close enough so you get the idea what to do. And now we can move back to the right side. Now on the right side of the printer the side panel begins actually from here, goes around here like that and goes all the way to the back. Usually take my fingers here and already the snap fit that you can see over there got already loose if you see there. That's not always the case and what you can do to help this is the following. Push the plastic a little bit up. This will cause uh, the locks from the snap fit to move up as well. And that way when you move this panel down and to the right it will easily get, go off. Let me record it again but now zoomed in. So what I do is this, I put my finger on my thumb somewhere around here and I push to the right side. So the plastic that ends here, that this part, let me maybe take the screwdriver, this part, doesn't go over this part. So it has to be free. Now while holding the plastic like so, we will try to lift the scanner part of the printer to the upper side. So we will lift it like so. So let me film it from a different angle. I will put my thumb here, put pressure to the right side, bend the side panel. Just like a few moments ago uh, we already discussed, check if this piece of plastic is let's say free, then we put pressure on the scanner part of the printer and we can move it up like so. And already you hit a snap and what happened, the lock of the snap fit moved also up and it unlocked one of the uh, snap fits. The lock of the snap fit is located on the downside, on the bottom side of the scanner itself. So when I move the scanner part up, it will unlock uh, the lock and the snap fit. You have two snap fits, so one already unlocked and you push it up. Now it's a little bit more free to move also up. And now I put my finger around here and I gently, gently, let me try if I can let you see. And already the second snap fit loosened. This is quite tricky to do and you really need to push the scanning part high enough, but not too high uh, so it won't break anything. If I uh, zoom in again, so when I lift and the uh, scanning part, I lift it like so, so it's uh, not higher than four millimeters, and this is enough to help to unlock the snap fit. So here we already unlock the two snap fits, and we almost can take off the side panel. As you can see, it's 
quite loose. So I took the camera off from the tripod to let you see how those uh, snap fits are working and when, where they are located. Um, the side panel already is almost loose as you can see. The snap fits also are both loose. Sometimes you have the following problem, even though if you lift uh, the scanner part high enough, you will be able to unlock the first or the closer uh, snap fit, but the second will still uh, be kind of locked in. What you can do is take a card, a credit card for example, or anything that's strong enough and not sharp, for example a butter knife, but actually the credit card works the best. Then you put it against the as far as to the left you can go. Put the pressure on the on the snap fit itself, not too much. It really needs like a millimeter, uh, not more. And then try to pull the side panel to the right, and this should give you the edge to uh, unlock the snap fit. So the first step is done, the snap fits are unlocked. Uh, let us move the printer a bit and view it from the back side. I will move the printer on its back. So if you put the scanner on its back, be careful with the scanning part because it will uh, try to snap open like this. So be careful with that. So if you look, we had the panel that's here quite loose from underneath as well. And actually we can take it off just like that by uh, actually moving it to the, on the back and then just taking it off. It didn't really uh, uh, was holding on to anything. It just was uh, yeah, resting on its feet and that's why it locked. So once we moved the scanner on its back, we could take the, the side panel very uh, easily off. So since we have the panel loose, let me try and explain it a little bit more clearly. So the panel sits against the printer like that. The panel itself have two round, let's call them locks. One in the front, another at the end. It has also two snap fits, one here, one there. Those round locks go against, turn it a bit, those round holes. One hole is here, another hole is a little bit in the back. To take the panel away, you need to unlock those two snap fits. They are held by those pins. One pin is here in the front and another is a little bit to the back. So let me get closer to one of those pins. This is the front pin. Goes on there. The snap fit itself snaps quite high against it. The pin comes in the in the hole itself of the snap fit. To release the panel, what we need to do is to move the scanner part higher. Once the scanner part gets higher, the pin also gets higher. 
and it releases the snap thread. Once it's released, you can move the panel away from underneath of the snap thread. Once you remove it from underneath from the first pin, you can release it from the second pin because if you move the scanning part higher, not only the first pin moves up but also the second one. So you begin with the first snap fit, then move the panel away from the pin and then you can remove it from the second one. And this lock doesn't really play a role anymore. But there is one problem, that lock, a round lock, this part and that part are locking the parts together and the movement up is not possible. So if the panel is a little bit like that, it's close against the printer, you need to create space between this sticking out plastic and that hole. So once you do that, the movement up is possible. So in this case, the movement up is like that. So I hope this clears up what we're trying to do here. So this method is as well to the right side of the printer as well to the left side of the printer. So, all right, we have uh, removed the right side panel and we can go on removing the left side. When we start with the left side, I would recommend to bend this like we really did. Make sure it's positioned like that. Now, thanks to the right panel being off, we can uh, move the scanning part more easily up and down and this will help us removing the left panel. Now we still have this part still bent like that as before but to unlock and the snap fits uh, we will have to do the following. First of all we need to bend the plastic part a bit to move a um, yeah, it's like sort of a round uh, lock that holds uh, the scanning part in place so it doesn't move up. So if you look here closely there is a round lock, there should be enough space between this plastic and that plastic. As you can see if I take a uh, for example a credit card and place it there. it will prevent from snapping back of the snap of the yeah lock snap fit whatever you call it uh, i can show it again for you from the panel on the panel you have this round plastic it's a lock i would say and or an anchor whatever you can uh, call it uh, this snaps back uh, to the scanner part and holds it in place so it doesn't go up. So once we have bended the plastic, we can more freely move this up. Hold it a little bit with my hand so the card won't fall down. And look like this. What happened is you have on the side here also a snap fit and a snap fit like that. It sits like here and you have a lock that's attached to the scanner going down from here and it will lock it. Once you move the scanner up the snap fit will become free. So we have freed up one of those. So for my convenience I've placed here a card, a credit card that's holding the scanning part so it doesn't snap back. So this is already unlocked 
and we move with our fingers here and over there we also have a, a lock let me zoom in so the second lock is over there so once again a little bit more zoom the second lock is here and I push it back so it doesn't snap back to the uh, scanner part and now what uh, I did is I will move the scanner up and this will unlock both of the snap fits so yeah we have unlocked the snap fits from above the side panel is still kind of in place, uh, it still holds against the printer but that's because uh, it's still um, being locked uh, from the bottom. So uh, let us uh, place the scanner again uh, on its back. When you put the scanner on its back remember that this can flap valiantly open so keep your hand somewhere here. So actually the rest is quite easy, the snap fits from above are already loose. Here you have a, uh, also a snap fit, let me zoom in a bit. So this is view, the view of the snap fit from uh, below, front uh, left. The top of the uh, panel is already loose. So this doesn't take much energy to unlock, you just wiggle it a bit, move it to the downside and you can see it's already unlocked and then I move it a little bit to the side, just wiggle it a bit like this, should be enough. Then the panel still holds uh, because it's resting on its back, let me zoom out again, show it to you. So the panel is on resting here and it's not re really locked. It's just because the weight is uh, on this side that the panel is staying in its place. So in this case I will just uh, move the printer a little bit up, wiggle the panel a little bit. And there you go. So as to the side panels we are done, we still have a panel on the back side. So this is the view from the back. This panel is quite easy to take off. The taking off of this uh, panel is very easy, it's already a little bit loose. You just take it like so and it goes very easily. Normally the panel has two snap fits, one here, one over there, also one from below, but that one doesn't give much resistance and it's also being held by a screw here and there. So right, we took all the panels off. Quite a lot of work, isn't it? We have now removed all the panels, left, right and the back. Congratulations if you made it so far. If you made it without breaking any parts, give a thumbs up. Although this video cannot guarantee you that you will be able to dismantle the printer without breaking any parts, I think still it's a good guidance. If you agree, also leave a thumbs up. And yes, this is the end of the part one. In the second part, we will be focusing on last and final steps to be able to remove the scanner from the printing part and make it ready for repair. If you like to support this channel or this video, please leave a comment, subscribe and never use ad blockers because ads will keep this video alive. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next part. Bye bye.